everybody. So, um, I'm kind of just starting off time on my own right now. Um, so, for the last few days, I've been giving myself my own magnesium infusions, which actually is really empowering. Um, it kind of looks scary, uh, which is why I wanted to share it with you. But um, it's also kind of a cool concept. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't been watching any other videos, I had a bone marrow transplant, I have a bunch of autoimmune disorders. It's a long journey, but I'm um, at home now and uh, I have to get daily magnesium infusions because I'm on cyclosporin, which lowers your magnesium. Um, so every day, this is what I do. I also have a pick line, uh, if you can see. And basically it's like a tube that goes through my arm to my heart and it's always there. Um, and that's how I will be giving myself the infusion. So first, uh, I took out the magnesium uh, two hours before uh, I took it out of the fridge. So it's not too cold, it just helps the pump run better and that's what was suggested. Um, they always say to make sure you check the um, expiration date and everything. Um, and it looks good. And it has my name on it, great. Um, so, okay, first I'll go through all the stuff. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, I washed my hands already, and so I put on some gloves, and all of this is provided by, uh, the Penn Infusion Home Care, uh, network, so they just deliver this in a box, like, once a week, all the items you need. So we have the little pump, we have the bag where it holds the pump and it's mag, it makes it easier to carry, um, we also have the mag itself, like I said. This is tubing that connects it all together. And then we have some saline slushes. And um, I also took out heparin for later. And uh, little caps for the, for the pick line, along with multiple alcohol pads. And this is for sharps, um, where you put like your old syringes and things. Um, and I also have a biohazard bag where I put um, any leftover mag and, and trash and things like that. Um, so to start, uh, they did give me a whole instruction set, so I'm not making this up. Um, they want you to open up the tubing. And I'm just going to throw things places, but uh, pick it all up later. And this is actually kind of the hardest part. Um, you have to puncture the tubing into the mag, um, which can be a little difficult. I'm like still not that strong, <laughs> but um, it's not too bad. And it's cool because like I've been in the hospital so many times and like I see the nurses do this um, and you know we have bigger pumps in the hospital but um, now I'm the one doing it for myself so I like that so I think it's okay. And then for this pump we will turn it on and there's some settings for the pump. It's pretty straightforward though. Um, I don't know if you could hear the beeping, but it does a lot of beeping. And for my pump, it just latches in the bottom. Not too bad. I'm resetting it, saying I'm gonna start now. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and like just already package it up in the bag. Um, I don't always do this stuff first, but um, it might just make things a little smoother. The trick with this mag is that they could just take all the air out of the pack. So you have to make sure it stays spaced up while it's running or you'll get bubbles in your line. Uh, and the, the pump will tell you there's bubbles, um, but 
it's kind of a pain in that sense uh, that you always need to make sure your bag is, is facing up. But let's see here. I don't want to get it too twisted around. And it goes in just like that. Not too bad. All secure. Let's zipper it right up. And because it's not running, I don't have to make sure it's face up now. But um, once it's connected to me and going, that's you know when you really want to be more concerned. So we did all of that, and um, you want to prime the tubing first to get all the air bubbles out because uh, some bubbles are okay, but generally you don't want to inject yourself with lots of air bubbles. That's really you know bad for you. <laughs> So I just take the cap off. And then on the screen, it asks me if I want to prime. And it's a nice little pump. It tells you, you know, make sure you're not connected to the patient. And then it starts going. And for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna let it pour out into this bag. And then I put this little bag into the biohazard um, bigger box. But you probably can't see from there. There is um, lots of little bubbles going through. And uh, I just got this new tubing, which is a lot shorter and smaller. So priming um, goes really quickly, actually. Uh, my old tubing, there was like a lot of tubing. Um, and it's just it puts the magnesium all throughout the the tubing. So you might be able to tell I'm actually getting a delivery of more mag at this exact moment. So um, I'm going to pause here. <laughs> I'm going to let this finish priming and then pause and then go pick up the more mag. I think somebody really wants it at the door <laughs> or wants me to get it from the door. So I'm back, um, it was really nice, the guy actually came the whole way to the door, I didn't have to go to like the front desk and everything, um, but I'm going to put on new gloves, just uh, because, and uh, okay, so we already, we primed the mag, now is when I get uh, my side ready. So. I used to not use these long extensions. Uh, usually my pig line kind of stops here like this one, but um, the extension makes it so much easier. Actually, usually both of them have extensions. Um, we just needed to order more, so now I only have one. But uh, first, you know, actually before, I'm gonna open everything up. Get it out of the way. All the things I need at least. Um, when it comes to sailing, they also have air in them. So you want to get a little, push out the air, it kind of like flies in the sky, um, which is like, always makes a mess and yeah. But um, there's that. And I have my alcohol pad right here. And so the hospital now uses these nice little caps, which come pre like alcohol, so you're, um, your pick line should be clean already, but um, it's always good practice just to, to wipe it off with the alcohol pad first. The instructions say at least 10 seconds, um, so I'm all for being clean. Sorry, if you can tell, I'm a little, a little vamped. <laughs> uh, I am still on a lot of steroids, um, so it does make me a little shaky, a little extra. Uh, but so to flush the line first, uh, you just screw it on, screw the ceiling on, and unclip your clips, and you push, 
And this is like the weirdest feeling ever. So I'm like pushing liquid like inside my arm and I can feel the cold in the tubing. Um, and it's a pain. If so sometimes nurses will like push it really hard and like kind of jolt you, like almost like make your heart jolt. So I don't push that hard, but uh, you can feel it sometimes. So uh, flushed it, which is good. And then I'll put the magnesium on. And then we will be all done with hooking myself up. There's a little more to do at the end, um, but the magnesium runs for two hours now. So I just kind of carry it around with me. Had a lot of trouble unscrewing this one. Okay. So now that's done, I'm connected. I'm gonna turn the pump on, like press it to start. And it's going. And this tubing is still kind of long, so I just wrap it around. And this is what I do every day. And it's just magnesium, you know, um, it's not like a horrible, you know, drug and things like that. Um, so that's why they let patients do it by themselves at home. And uh, I'll be back in like two hours to show you how I take it all off and flush the lines. Okay, so you might be able to see by the lighting, it is significantly later in the day. Um, it's winter, so not actually that significantly, only a couple hours, but um, the magnesium is done running and um, it's beeping at me telling me it's done. So basically the pump does automatically stop itself. Uh, I wash my hands, but I'm going to put on gloves first. Uh, over the last two hours I was chatting with a friend, which was really nice. It was nice to just laugh. Um, did some cleaning and things like that. And it's not too bad, I just have the cat around my shoulder. But okay. So, gonna unhook the mag and some of it pours out a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, take my alcohol wipe, wipe off the tip again. And um, just to be extra clean. Get out my saline flush. Again, like before, shoot out the air bubble. Flush the line. And there's a little clip that I clipped earlier. Uh, there has been a time, actually only once, where I got an infusion, it stopped infusing, and because the pump wasn't running, uh, the blood from in me started coming out the other direction. <laughs> so, uh, it's always good to clip just in case, uh, if that ever happens. Um, that happened to me while I was inpatient at the hospital, so not my fault. But it was actually kind of creepy when I saw it happening. Um, but either way. So, pushing the flush to try to get all the magnesium out of the line, um, into my body. And um, then there's heparin. And heparin basically keeps your line um, from clotting. So again, take the air out. And uh, push through. I always see the nurses do a little squirty thing, and now I get to do the squirty thing. I kind of like it. And um, that was it for this one. And they have these nice little caps for you, which have alcohol in them. Well, no, cap down. So I'll get another cap. Sorry about that. And this one is done. 
and I will clamp it back. Before I do the second one, and the second one's a lot harder for me because we didn't have an extension, I'm gonna grab another cap. Okay, so actually, uh, my camera ran out of space, so you missed the whole second one. But uh, for a pick line, you have two lines, uh, so you can run two infusions at once. Even though I didn't run an infusion, I uh, flushed and uh, used the heparin for the second line. Uh, it's shorter because I didn't have another extension, but I can still reach uh, pretty fine like this. Um, but the, the gist of it was that, or the gist of what you missed that I wanted to say was, um, I wanted to share this video because this is such a big step for me. Uh, two years ago when I first got sick, I was so afraid of veins and needles and blood. I'd be shaking and crying every time I had to draw blood. Um, like true anxiety. Um, so to be here at this place where I don't even mind having things sticking out of my arm into my heart um, and being able to like look like the nurses and do this on my own is um, just really empowering and really fulfilling. Um, so I wanted to, to share this moment with, with you and um, you missed some bits. I'm still on a lot of steroids. Like if you saw the other videos, I still have trouble getting up and down um, because I was in bed so long. But uh, overall, uh, this is one of the good things that, that happened today. So thanks for watching and check back next week for another video.